Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Payam. All right, thanks for watching. And today I'll do something really cool. I evaluate this double integral in two different ways and I show that they don't give the same answer, which is really surprising because in multivariable you learn that by Fubini, you should get the same answer no matter which order you pick your integration in. But today we will see it's not because one, just one of the assumptions is not satisfied. So in particular, let's integrate the function x, y times x squared minus y squared over x squared plus y squared q, where f is this, and r is the rectangle 0, 2 times 0, 1. So x is between 0, 2, and y is between 0, 1. And I forgot to say, today I will give you the shortened version, but if you click on the link in the description, I have a more longer video where I'll work out all the details. Okay, so on the one hand, as I said, there are two kinds of people. One which like people who like to do y first and then x, and people who like to do x first and then y. So on the one hand, one way you can calculate this integral as the integral from 0 to 1 of xy times x squared minus y squared over x squared plus y squared cubed dy dx, so y is between 0 and 1, x is between 0 and 2. So this is like calculating the slice, I think, with respect to x first, and then integrating that with respect to x. Now it turns out, using a simple u substitution, you can calculate that integral, and you get that this is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 of x over 2, x squared plus 1 squared dx. And then, in order to calculate that, you can use another u substitution, x squared plus 1, and you get, let's see, 1 fifth. So that's one way of integrating, with respect of y first and then with respect of x. Now let's do the other way integral from 0 to 2 and then 0 to 1 of the same function xy times x squared minus y squared over x squared plus y squared cubed dx dy. Now let's integrate that. And for this you can use another u substitution. In this case u is x squared minus y squared but with respect to x and if you do that, and again, click on the video in case you want to see more. So click on the link in the description, because you're already in the video, so it's kind of awkward. <laughs> then you get minus 2y over 4 plus y squared squared dy. And you can use another u substitution, 4 plus y squared being u. And if you do that, you would think you get 1 fifth, but whoa, you actually get negative 1 over 20. So not only a different number, but a negative number, even though the first one is positive. And so the question is, what is the real volume under that function? And also, what went wrong? Well, the interesting thing is, each slice here is integrable, but... What went wrong is that the function itself is not integrable because if you actually calculate the double integral of the absolute value of f of x, y, that equal to the integral over again the rectangle of, if one, uh, still x, y over x squared minus y squared over x squared plus y squared cubed. And it turns out, I guess maybe absolute value, it turns out this thing is actually infinity. And one way of seeing this is as follows. Look at this line. So the function basically blows up at a lot of points. Namely, look at the line y equals to x over 2. So x equals to 2y. And then... In that case, on points of the form f of t, 2t, t, t, the function is 6 over 125t squared, which blows up as t goes to 0. So this goes to infinity. Whereas on the line,
find y equals to 2x, our function f of t to t, you can calculate it as negative 6 over 125t squared, which blows up to minus infinity. Now, just because it blows up doesn't mean it's not integrable, but notice precisely this exponent is t squared. So because of this exponent, the function actually blows up as t goes to infinity, as t goes to zero plus. And that's why that's so interesting. One of the assumptions of Fubini's theorem is not true, and therefore we have this weird thing that happens here, which means that for Fubini, you technically have to check all the assumptions. But I know in multivariable, no one cares. Everything is smooth and integrable. So that's why <laughs> in multivariable, you don't have to worry about this. Yep. All right. So if you like that and you want to see more math, please click the video in the description and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Yay. Woo